Hi there, Catherine here, and welcome back to my channel. And today I'll be showing you how to assemble these guitar pick uh, keychains. So these keychains are really easy to make, and uh, you'll be able to make up a lot of them in a short period of time. They're great for uh, storing your uh, guitar picks if you want to put them on your case or on your keychain and uh, so let's just get started so the first step is to uh, cut out your fabric so today I'm using glitter vinyl but you could use any fabric as long as it's non fraying and uh, so leather if you want and um, you can also uh, double it up so it's thicker so this is some glitter vinyl that I cut out two pieces and then I just glued them together. I just used some basic uh, craft glue and then I just made sure that it was completely dry. If it's at all wet, it'll um, start to shift. So you want to make sure that it's completely dry. So you can just leave it overnight if you're not sure. So you could either cut these and you can find, and um, if you've been enjoying all the videos I've been putting out, make sure to subscribe. So uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you're looking for the patterns, you can head over to my Etsy shop. I'll put a link in the description below. And then you can download the files. They're available in Adobe Illustrator, SVG, DXF, and PNG. So you can either print them out and cut them out onto a piece of paper, trace it out, or you can use your cutting machine if you have a silhouette or a cricket. So after you've cut out your pieces, the next step is to if you've cut them out by if you've cut them out by hand, then the next step is to hole punch. So just line up your pattern. And I'll put a link to the hole punch I'm using. I believe it's a one quarter size. And then <clears throat> you want to get some keychains. Today I'm using these uh, mini keychains. I've just been really liking the looks of them. You can see it here, it's just a smaller size. So you can find these on Amazon. I'll put a link below or at a craft store. And then you just want to pull it through the bottom and then you're going to sew up along the edge. So I'm just going to show you that in just a moment. Make sure to use a large stitch. And I've been getting some questions about if you can just glue it. You could try. You'd have to use a really strong glue. Um, I, I've tried glue in the past and it can pull apart. And I, I just find that sewing it just gives it a, a professional look. So it's really up to you. Give it a try. If you've got some strong glue, it could work. And uh, so I'm just going to sew these up. So you want to sew very slowly and with a really large stitch and you make sure, and I'm not pinning it or anything, I, I find it's fine just to hold it in place with your hands. It's just I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way so that you can see the needle so the fabric is shifting a little bit. Let's see if we can fix that. So you just sew <clears throat> Excuse me, all the way around, one stitch at a time. So now that you have the ring attached and the uh, the keychains uh, sewn along the bottom, the next step is you want to add a snap where the little holes are. So you want to choose a smaller snap, and I'm gonna go for a, a bright color just so you can see what I'm doing. So. I'm just picking out the pieces right now. So you can find snaps on like Amazon, 
or from Walmart or wherever. I'll put a link below. So the first snap goes in here. And then see how there's a top piece and a bottom piece or in, in and out. So now you choose either one. You put it on top. Then you need this tool and then you squish them together. And that smushes them. So now you just have to do the top. So you put the plastic part on the bottom, then you put the other part on top. Use your device and you just squish it to put it together. So and you can see that it's coming apart a bit. So one idea is that I could sew it along the edge and also along here before I had sewn it. That would be a nice detail. I'll probably just glue it later on. So now uh, I'm basically done. So as you can see, the guitar pick just fits in there and then you just close it like that. So it looks really nice how it is with, um, sorry about the lighting, the sun's changed. Um, so it looks really nice like this with just the keychain. But if you want to, you can find these accessories on Amazon and it'll add an extra detail. You just attach it here. They're sold in a bag of 100, so I'll put the link below, and so there you go. So now you know how to assemble the guitar pick uh, keychains. So let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and make sure to subscribe, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.